So the Aeon Chase field about to be called in and they're off. Fan racing. And Denman, just as often the case, just niggled along to gather stride early on. But he moves on the inside of Niche Market and Tricky Trickster towards the first fence he'll take in public under Tony McCoy. He rises in about fourth place. Air Force One is towards the uh, rear of the field. Denman just taking a little bit of time to warm up. He was a bit lethargic on the way to post. And I say, just being uh, niggled slightly to come and join the leaders. Niche Market, Denman on the inside. Tricky Trickster, Wee Robbie, who made a mistake towards the outer. Then Ollie McGurn, who's written with a bit more restraint this afternoon, and Air Force One. But Denman gradually working his way to the head of the race and showing more enthusiasm by the stride. Leads by half a length or so from Niche Market in second. Tricky Trickster up on the outside, making just about a line of three. We Robbie on the outside of Ollie McGurn and Air Force One as they head towards the cross fence for the first time, which is number three. Denman on the inside of Niche Market and Tricky Trickster in the pink and purple jacket as they head towards the third. Ollie McGurn jumps up well on the inside. Then we Robbie and Air Force One. So Denman at Niche Market turn towards the first of the fences up the home straight. Niche Market a neck or so in advance of Denman. Tricky Trickster now back in third place. Ollie McGurn, we Robbie towards the outside and Air Force One in the noseband under restraint as they head on towards fence number four, the first of five up the home straight this time. And Denman on the right in the light green sleeves. Niche Market in the center of the race course. Air Force One landed a little awkwardly at the rear of the field. Didn't cost him too much momentum, but looked a little ugly as they race on towards the open ditch. Denman on the inside. Niche Market, good leap by Tricky Trickster. Ollie McGurn. At the back of the field, we still have Wee Robbie and Air Force One. As Denman and Niche Market at just an even pace. Race towards the next good leap by both of the front pair. Wee Robbie just appeared to brush through the top of that fence and is in fifth place as Denman now racing almost keenly as opposed to the lethargy of early on has moved through to just about show the way now from Niche Market. A huge leap by Denman as they head on towards the water jump. So the Aeon Chase field pretty tightly grouped. Denman on the inside of Niche Market. Not a breakneck pace by any means. Tricky Trickster is in third place. Wee Robbie stands side. Ollie McGurn towards the inner as they head towards the water jump. Perfect stride seen by all of the runners there. As Niche Market on the outside of Denman head out on the final circuit for the Aeon Chase. Tricky Tricks to third in the pink colours. Ollie McGurn on the fence in the maroon sleeves. Then Wee Robbie in yellow and blue. And at the rear of the field is Air Force One. So Denman moving away from the stands, leading by a well, nostril or so, no more than that really. Niche Market is just about his shadow on the outside as Tony McCoy heads towards the first down the back on Denman. Pace just appears to be increasing slightly. The front two again were very fluent. Tricky Trickster in third from Ollie McGurn. Wee Robbie and at the rear of the field, Air Force One. So this is another open ditch. Denman just gradually increasing the pace here. Another massive leap. Ollie McGurn was the one that jumped it slower and the front pair just stretching away. Denman and Niche Market. About a six lengths clear from Tricky Trickster as they approach the next plane fence. Denman over from Niche Market, Tricky Tricks to third, Wee Robbie in fourth. After that error, Ollie McGurn's lost a couple of places, about to be relegated to last. Another plane one looms. Denman and Niche Market match strides down the back straight. Again, Denman ridden into it, produces a good leap, and has just about for the first time, albeit briefly, got a bit of clear water between himself and Niche Market. Tricky Trickster in third, then Wee Robbie Air Force One, Ollie McGurn is struggling as Denman is over the Last fence on the far side. So five to take. Tony McCoy takes a look behind. Niche Market's rider does the same. We'll find Tricky Tricksters in third. And uh, all of them were lobbing along, heading into the back straight. But such is the rather deceptive way that Denman just powers on that all of them have now, to some degree, come off the bridle bar Denman, who heads towards the fence on the side of the course. Still with pursuers, Niche Market in second place. Tricky Trickster Air Force One's made a bit of ground into fourth with Wee Robbie. And at the back of the field is Ollie McGurn. But Denman continuing to turn the screw. Tony McCoy sees a great stride. And again, Denman really responds. Niche Market second, then Tricky Tricks to third and Air Force One. And Denman on the home turn still leads by three to four lengths. Another look 
And for Tony McCoy to see how far clear he is as Denman leads Niche Market. To his credit, stuck to the task pretty well. He's still two and a half lengths behind. Then Tricky Trickster in third place and Air Force One. A shake of the reins for Denman, who still hasn't quite shaken off Niche Market as he heads towards the fourth last and gets in close and nearly goes. Denman, my word, a jumping blemish. McCoy has lost a lot of momentum and Niche Market has gone three lengths clear and all of a sudden Denman has a fight on his hands and he's made a total mistake of that and now he's gone and Denman leaves his mark in the fence the third last at Newbury and Niche Market is going towards the second last clear from Tricky Trickster in second who's trying to close then Air Force One Denman never left his feet he's okay the frustrated McCoy left cursing on the landing side but Niche Market comes towards the last with the Aeon chase at his mercy and Niche Market is over clear. Tricky Trickster's trying to close. Five lengths away in second place. Then Air Force One and Niche Market driven out towards the line. The Hennessy third with Tricky Trickster really getting ahead of steam here. Can he thread the needle up the inside? Niche Market's flattening out. Tricky Trickster's getting to him with every bound. Tricky Trickster on the inside and Niche Market. A dramatic finish to a dramatic Aeon chase. Maybe Ruby Walsh has won it. On the inside, Tricky Trickster. Niche Market, it's close. Air Force one was third, then Ollie McGurn in fourth. Well, that would suggest that Ruby's probably got out of jail on Tricky Trickster and nutted Niche Market right on the line. Drama all round in the Aeon chase, much of it centred around the departure of Denman.